Hi, I'm Jessie Isley from Charlotte Mecklenburg Library, and I'm so excited to share with you one of our children's companion titles for Community Read 2022. Our picture book title for preschool readers and families is called Windows. It's written by Julia Dinos and illustrated by E.B. Goodale. This book is available from the library in English and Spanish. This video is a great introduction to Windows. Let's watch. This review, written by Mary Ann Cappiello and published in School Library Journal, provides a great description of the story. Have you ever found yourself walking down a street at twilight, watching the lights pop on inside the houses and apartment buildings as you pass by? As the northern hemisphere turns and twirls toward winter, autumn afternoons grow shorter and shorter, and it becomes easier to catch a glimpse of the lives behind closed doors. Author Julia Dinos and illustrator E.B. Goodale take us on one such walk in Windows. The book is written in second person, and while the author references the protagonist as a boy in a video interview, the illustrator has drawn a protagonist who could be male or female. Dressed in a red hoodie, they're reminiscent of Peter in Ezra Jack Keats A Snowy Day. As we make our way through the story, we see intricate details of daily life, someone making dinner, someone reading the paper, a yoga class, glowing television light. This journey of vignettes is a series of snapshots rooted in the lived experiences of both the author and the illustrator in Somerville, Massachusetts, as well as all of the places in which it might be read by readers. It encourages us to cherish the beauty of the world around us and the cozy feeling of coming home. This quiet book is ideal for family read-alouds, library story times, and classroom explorations of community. Windows provides a great opportunity to celebrate both a child's independence and their place within their community. Children and families can look for details on each page and discuss what they think people and families are doing in their homes. There is so much to see on every page. You could spend time focusing on the indoors and individual vignettes. Or you could also discuss the outdoor parts of the neighborhood as well different types of houses and shops, parks and grassy areas, and more. Reading and looking through the book together is a great chance to discuss identity within community. Where children see themselves fitting into their own community, what activities they participate in, and how they interact with their neighbors. Windows ends with these lines. Then you arrive home again and you look at your window from the outside. Someone you love is waving at you and you can't wait to go in. So you do. This feeling of returning home, exploring your community while also having a safe place to land when you return is a great theme to touch on as well. For group settings with younger children, this theme could be a prompt to discuss different types of families, living arrangements, and homes we all have. If you're reading this story with older kids, it could also open the door to discuss the uncertainties that can come from not having that safe place to land and ways we can support those who might be struggling. Windows explores the many different stories going on around us every day in our communities. Some we can see and some we can't. It's an exploration of the greater community and individuals that make up that community. And it's an encouragement to all of us to remember that everyone has a different story. Getting to know those stories can help us build stronger relationships, build our own identities, and shape our contributions to our community. We hope you'll join us in reading Windows for Community Read 2022.